Oh, but, but less life bars. Hello, Simon. Hello, friend. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. <laughs> what are you doing here at the Open Day? Uh, I'm drawing a little character of Wayne Rooney right now. Yeah. Can we tell? Oh, uh, you will be able to when it's finished. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a baboon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Really, I just draw a baboon, and there we go. Yeah. Yeah. This is taken on the night before, on the day of uh, England's first game against the USA in the World Cup, so it's kind of topical. Fantastic. Of, uh, well, are you going to yeah, sell it then? Uh, I don't know yet. Yeah. Depends when he wants to buy it. You're going to auction it. Yeah, we're completely, well, we're tarts, basically. We'll sell anything like that. We're going to forge a signature on there. <laughs> we'll sell ourselves the highest bidder. I don't care about the morality of it. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. I'll catch you later. All right, have fun. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, Trevor. <laughs> it's good to see you here. Which is your favourite favorite plate or card done by Bitter and Twisted? Well, there are so many to look at, and it's a very, very hard decision to make. Um, some of these are characters. These are nice. Love Shack, of course, which is the name of the property, which is rather nice. I mean, what is superb, though, is that we've got a fantastic group of people who live on the island. A lot of them are, well, we have engineers, scientists, believe it or not, and we have artists and potters. Well, you name it, we've got it. And yet, on this wonderful li little commune, we're only 20 minutes on a fast train to Waterloo. So we've got the best of everything, you know? Are you inviting everybody else to come down now, Trevor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful, careful. <laughs> no, we have time for the people on the mainland, you understand? Hi Nicola, thanks for being up for chatting to me. Um, so that beautiful, I mean is that, a, would you call that a mirror or is it like... I see it more as an artwork but yeah. it has, it can be functional and I just like playing with that depth of reflection and seeing it's how beautiful. these sort of tonal aspects of a, um, a sheet of glass can work yeah. just with the simple processes involved. So this is sandblasted on three different surfaces with a clear sheet glass on the front layer sandblasted to two sides and then the mirror is sandblasted behind as well so you get this sort of tonal depth of reflection and then I get the um, solid walnut rails made up especially to go with the work and just to keep the sort of the richness and a good quality mm. to it. It's absolutely yeah. stunning. I absolutely love this this head, this face. Absolutely fantastic. I, I mean, he was done as a, um, well, because my friend wanted to make a pterodactyl and had done for years, and I wanted to just kind of refresh my mould making skills, so it was a collaboration for that reason.